was a former Ganon main, and you know, I still love Ganon. Yeah. Uh, I think he's good situationally. I don't think he's a good yeah. every pick every time. There's some good matchups for yeah. him, but he's, he's very uh, like you know, Mar uh, maybe Sheik. Maybe maybe you stay away from the Ganon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. But so yeah, yeah, no. Ice climber stuff like that, I could see it being okay, but um, yeah. Yeah, he's, Sorry, he's stream. <laughs> oh, no worries. At first, I thought that was a four loco. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were like bringing out a four loco. Just get turned on. You know, like uh, you know, one thirty in the afternoon. Never too early. <laughs> four loco. No, that, that is some drunk melee for you. <laughs> some drunk melee for you guys. Uh, definitely. Some slurred commentary. <laughs> Gotta stay appropriate on stream. <laughs> anyway, so we have the double fox that. versus uh, Martha Beer Sheik. Yes, double fox. I'm just doing uh, team comp. Don't know how that could be bad. I think it's yeah, very yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there's, really, there's really like no going wrong with the fox. Both on characters your team. have insane recoveries and are extremely good. So uh -huh. one of those characters that just don't really have. What they have to take much. advantage of is their predictable, their predictability. Uh, yes. You know when when they're off stage you, you know you, you want to go for the extra mile uh, you want to go you know knock them off yeah or course. else they're just coming back every time yeah no for sure and once and in it, with any any game really you, you you get someone off stage you want to edge guard them yeah. and try to get that stock and um, with Fox and Falco well more so Fox it's, I, I should say both characters have semi predictable recoveries but uh, Fox has much more many more options because uh, his up B goes so much farther yeah but um yeah, both characters have really uh, quite diverse recoveries. Yeah. You got the side B, the up B, which you can angle at different angles, and then the side B actually has the shorten. Yeah, which and you can edge cancel, which I find the most effective. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, if you uh, I like newer it. players, so, it's so minimal. It's like you have minimal lag on it because what almost, happens is yeah. when you uh, when you side B at the uh, at the end of duration when you land, you land on the edge. So what happens is you cancel into the. Uh, Alright, but like the falling over yeah. animation. So what happens is there's very minimal lag. You can just walk off and do an attack or something. Yeah, exactly. Or shield. Yeah, it's like basically the momentum from your move carries over. So if you hit it just on the edge, you'll land on the ground, but then fall off, and then that cancels the landing animation. Yeah. So for newer players, if you don't know about edge canceling, it's it's a it's a very I think uh, it's a very useful tactic. Yeah. It's very difficult though, just because it's very precise, mm -hmm. and it depends on the character and the move. But um, you know, it, it is more difficult to do. Yeah, but definitely. Especially Falco when uh, it is also predictable. So don't go for every time because Marth can just swing his huge sword up yeah, there and just true. whack you. Yeah, Marth covers almost the entire platform with yeah. an up tilt. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's very hard to get back uh, when you're up the stage. Yeah. So uh, you know, it's looking pretty grim. But hey, like I said, don't give up. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think it's that grim. It's chic. Um, I think it is chic. she's yes, got a, right. a pretty good chance. Uh, I never, I never count people out. Yeah. Um, all she has to do is take six stocks. <laughs> I mean, hey, they're, all, um, they're high percent, so maybe one down oh, smash could do it. This is true. This is true. And then just need I like twenty there. more and one for sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but and pressure. Uh, Monkey in the middle is a bad situation yeah. when you're one v two. Oh, really nice good. Up air, really clean. good up air. Yeah. Yeah, um, so I think maybe to better co uh, combat that matchup is, so what Fox has over um, Sheik and Mars, probably just priority and pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, with that being said, I think, you know, if I was if I was playing that matchup, I just want I just want general stage control, you know? That's well, where the prosper. The thing actually that is interesting is Fox has limited range. All his yeah. aerials are kind of stubby. Mm -hmm. Although, if he's running and doesn't air, he does cover a lot of space. Yeah. But... Thank you for uh, following Fen yeah. Fenicrat Fen Fenricas. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, so he covers a lot of space, but his his hitboxes are still kind of small. Sheik and Marth have really, really, really huge hitboxes in range on yeah. on their tilts. Like Sheik's forward tilt and Marth's uh, up tilt and forward tilt will outrange Fox. So it's gonna be a matter of baiting the Fox to do a move, yeah. um, and then either you know wave dash back, bait out. Outspacing the fox and then I countering with them, their yeah, own. I want to see them just uh, grab stage, you know, mm -hmm. just grab stage control. I think that's where they prosper yeah. because you know when they're center stage, uh, you throw out that huge hitbox. The fox is like, as I'm not saying he has no options, but it's very limited options. Yes, yeah. it's uh, it's very like it's really good situation when uh, the fox is off stage and your teammate is on stage. Yeah, of know? course. Yeah, I think that's what they want to. This is going to be a little bit harder on on Dreamland though because it's such a big stage. If it was something smaller, see, yeah, than... it, they have an interesting oh. team composition because one, Mark can't kill as early uh -huh. in this game, but 
uh, at the same time, Sheik lives forever on this mm -hmm. stage. Yeah, so for sure. I want to see how that uh, there's a dynamic in, in the team. Yeah, I'd say Mark definitely has the worst recovery of the four uh, on this stage, especially oh, with sure, the win. Yeah. But uh, being teams, um, he can maybe rely on his teammate helping him a little bit. If she can drop off the stage with like a up air or something to pop yeah, him up, definitely. and he, he might have another chance at living. For sure, but your teammate definitely matters. Like, you know, I know some people that uh, you know like to play doubles, mm -hmm. but they what they do is within the doubles they play like two separate singles matches. Yes, that's and, yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I mean, it works to an extent, but at the same time. It's worth dropping that combo and protect your friend. Oh, from of course. I, I yeah. think I agree 100%. It's much, it's much better to save a teammate than guarantee a kill. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that is it is something that I think a lot of that, newer yeah, players don't are, think about. Yeah, with doubles. You guys are sharing stocks. You know? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, a lot of people might play doubles like that. We're just trying to. Yeah. You take this guy, I take this guy, and we'll fight. But you have to be watching what else is going on so you can see if your teammate's off stage then you can go over and help him back on yeah, because or edge guarding is so much harder in teams uh-huh for sure because you have your teammates yeah, you, help yeah that. you want to exploit that you yeah. see yeah of course okay so got a little bit of team combo there and Sheik drops it nice edge guard Fox going with that shine thinking he's gonna uh, re-grab but uh, Yogi very smartly um, knew that was coming and just waited for the shine and uh, didn't fall for the over aggression. <clears throat> Mark throw from Marth. Up there. Another up there? Okay, nope. Oh, okay. He tries to read the recovery, but he shot yeah. sauce. I like it. That was nice. Okay. So we got two foxes think, on think, stage yeah, and Marth off stage. And that's, okay. I thought maybe for a second he was stuck under the yeah. stage, but. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. I was waiting oh, yeah, for the classic, dual the classic infinite. team by pineapple. Oh. <laughs> oh, good okay. in there. Good in there. Good back air. Okay. Oh, Sheik is in the middle. It's not a good situation. Yeah, and that's and up smash that's kills his teammate. All right. <laughs> he says, "I don't need your handouts." <laughs> like, screw you, man. I can do this on my own. All right. Oh, really good down smash. Um, and the pressure, the two, two foxes yeah. is probably the most pressure you're ever gonna <laughs> yeah. have in this game. If both are drill shining. Yeah, that's that's insane. It's just not a fun time. Right. Good shine. Good drill. Oh. It's like they're handing it off, just like, all right, your turn, your turn. Up, uh, uh, in there. Let's but see. <laughs> actually, I don't know about Falling that. Falling up smash. If he had landed on the platform, I think it would have been a good nair, but since he fell all the way to the ground, uh, the nair animation lasts so long that yeah. the other right, team Zelda had change? plenty of time to. And the up smash. Well, yeah, he did take. Two it was or a closer three match. Spots. Yeah, it was definitely a oh. closer match. Yeah. It was. Uh, it did. It did prove. A, it did prove a good counter pick for them. Yeah. Uh, but maybe just uh, more proper execution than Maple could have taken. Yeah. So I like. It was a good match. That was a good match, and Yogi did very well. Yeah, I like it too. So props to Yogi.